First question is from Nads7719. <laughs> Just to get help it. <laughs> I'm boys. sorry, dude. Hi, we're, we're 12. I know. Yes. I know. I am. What tips or advice do you have for deadlifting with dumbbells instead of barbells? All right. Um, so there's two ways you could do this uh, with dumbbells. One is you could hold them to your, uh, at your sides. So it's more of a, it's kind of like a trap bar deadlift and you go all the way from the ground up. So very deep deadlift. Now, this is going to be a much longer range of motion than a traditional uh, deadlift. The second uh, way you could do this is by placing the dumbbells on something that is going to simulate the height of a trap bar or of a barbell and then do them from there. And that's going to be a little closer to a barbell deadlift than the one where you go all the way to the ground. But I will say this, there's value to going with a much fuller range of motion. Definitely can't go as heavy, mm -hmm. but because of the deeper range of motion, um, I have found this to work on sticking points for me for my barbell deadlifts. So I don't necessarily think you should mimic the barbell or no. try to mimic it as much as possible. No, no, yeah, it's, it's totally different. different. I, lo I love this, and I love to do it single leg. So mm -hmm. if you go back oh, that's best, yeah. far enough on my Instagram, there was, I think it was last year, the year before, um, I was on when I was in the, my mobility kick and I was trying to progress my single leg deadlift. Um, and man, the, the carryover that I saw from that into my, my regular deadlift, uh, the hip mobility and stability and strength from it was great. Like, I just think it's a, one of those exercises that is overlooked and not a lot of people program it. So tremendous value. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think getting good at a single deadlift, single leg deadlift off the floor with dumbbells and and slowly try and and you'll have to start light. I mean, a lot a lot of people uh, may even have to do no weight at first. You know, just yeah. touching the ground it will be challenging for a lot of people. Just the stability, and then slowly progress uh, yeah. in weight. Mm -hmm. I love both those. I I do like to to do deficit deadlifts with just because it allows for that you know that that opportunity to go pretty low. Um, you know, with the weight. Uh, one other way that I like to use them, especially with kettlebells, but dumbbells, you could do this as well. Is um, just having it more midline, so it's it's more with a a, a sumo stance, um, but uh, pulling you know from you know organizing it so all the weight there is in the midline of your body has a really good feel to it with dumbbells or with heavy kettlebells as well. Yeah, you could also do uh, a version where it's a, like a suitcase uh, type deadlift where you're holding one side, so I'm oh, right. I'm going down. And rather than grabbing two dumbbells, I'm deadlifting one dumbbell, and that one dumbbell is on my side. And that really does work the your yeah. lateral strength. It works, stabilizes the opposite side with your, your core, your obliques, your your QL. If you find that when you do heavy deadlifts, you're, you tend to get a little tweak in your low back on one side, then uh, doing lifts like this might actually help. It might actually balance you out because what might be happening is one side QL muscle, quadratus lumborum muscle, might not be as strong as the other, or there's some kind of a asymmetric uh, asymmetric uh, shift, or something's going on there. Sometimes doing these like one sided deadlifts and kind of getting good at them helps balance you. Very out. functional. I mean, think about that when you pick up weight. A lot of times you are going to load it on one side, uh, you know, unless you're carrying it in on your chest uh, in front. But a lot of times you'll be carrying something heavy on your side. So it's a great exercise to to emulate. 